Okay, so get nice and comfy. And um, sit maybe in a cross-legged position. Yeah, prop yourself if you need to. So if you need to use a cushion, um, you know, just pull the fleshy parts of your bum back and just sit up on a cushion. Um, just, it's all about the comfort, okay? All about the comfort in pregnancy yoga. And as I said last week, mind yourself that um, your realm of flexibility um, might be slightly more because of the relaxing in your body and also just be gentle with yourself and if you you know if one of the poses is too much that's okay okay so let's just get into it um so i want you to either close your eyes or just look at the top of your mat okay so get nice and comfy and we'll just start with some nice breathing I want you just to notice your breath as it is, just as it is now. Let go of anything that happened this morning that might have, you know, gr grinded your gears a little bit, <laughs> or yesterday. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Relax the jaw. Just let your face melt. Pop away any tension you might feel. And just notice, are you gripping anywhere? And if you are, just use your inhale to soften. Use the inhale to soften anywhere that you might be gripping and just let it go, let it go. Now you have your eyes closed, but are they actually relaxed? So just relax those eyes, relax those cheekbones, relax the jaw. There's no need to smile in my class. So just relax and smile on the inside, that's fine. You can just relax your jaw for a little minute. Are you holding around your tummy? Are you actually, you know, actively carrying baby around? Just let it go. Okay, trust your body. Your body is strong enough to hold your baby, okay? It is, your body is amazing. Breathe slower and deeper. Breathe into your ribs and your back. Breathe down to your tummy. And as you breathe, bring beautiful, big waves of oxygen down to baby. Slow down your inhale, but particularly your exhale. Sometimes counting helps to clear the mind and that can help just with normal sleep or it also can help, um, you know, to manage or pass the time and with your surges just to go, okay, right, I'm counting them, counting my breath and focusing on your breath as you birth your baby, okay. So I want you to breathe in and out through the nose or in the nose and out through the mouth. But if you're breathing out through your mouth, I want you to imagine that you have rose petal lips, so really soft. 
And as you inhale, count one, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five. And just keep counting. Imagine as you're blowing out that you're gently blowing on baby's face. They love that. Now bring your hands to your tummy. And take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And as we breathe in and out, we're gonna send that breath down to baby. And just feel our tummies filling with breath. Almost like we breathe or pour a glass of water. You know, the breath goes the whole way down to the bottom and then makes its way out. Fills up, 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 up. And then we exhale. Bring one hand to your ribs. Breathe in and out. Now move your the hand on your ribs so that you have your thumb on your back and almost like you're holding your ribs. Do you know what I mean? So I really want you to notice how we use our back to breathe. So that's gonna be really important when we're down in child's pose and when we're trying to create more space in our body. I sent you a link to a lady on Instagram who's amazing. Mama Stay, I think she's called or something like that. So she talks about the importance of increasing the space in our lungs so that we're really breathing with our whole body. So we're breathing with our tummy, but we're also breathing out our back, okay? And out our ribs. As you breathe in and out, you're gonna notice your ribs just opening up and down. God, seriously, as you get more like get on in the process of pregnancy, those little sods will put a little a little foot in your in your in your ribs sometimes. <laughs> I don't know whether you've experienced it yet. Oh. You know, so everywhere that we can experience more space is so good. And it also helps with diastasis, okay? Because we don't want to be overly constantly pushing breath into our tummy the whole time. You want to use all of our lungs the whole way around. Now I want you to bring one hand to your chest now and just breathe in and out. Well done. Now let's clasp our hands above our head and we're just going to stretch, 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 lovely. Just gonna stretch. Well done. We're going to go from one side and then to the other. And then we're gonna just shake it out. Okay, perfect. Okay, if you have your Whichever way you have your um, legs crossed, cross them the other way. Okay, well done. Okay, now, we're gonna just start with some shoulder waves. Can you still hear me, yeah? Yeah, 
thanks. <laughs> I'm so paranoid about my microphone. Anyway, okay, super. And then we're gonna go the other way. Okay, so we're gonna get a bit funky with this this morning. Sure. And we're gonna do the wave, okay? So we're just gonna lead with our head and come back. Just really just get our back involved with this. Breathe in. Lovely, really good. And out. This is called a wave. So just imagine you're making a wave with your body. And it's just a lovely way to wake up the spine. It's great when my microphone is just literally just after I'm saying about the microphone, it decided to unattach itself. <laughs> that you do. Well done. That's lovely. And then let's just get really, oh, just ease out any tension in those shoulders. We're going to just. Do some neck um, circles. We'll start just very easily by just looking up. Make sure you're breathing and then looking down. And coming back to center. Looking to one side. And then coming back to center. And then looking to the other side. Just notice if you have any tension in your shoulders and just bring the breath to it to soften and come back to center. Okay. So just if you do have any tension, just repeat that. And um, maybe, you know, as you get up in the morning, why not have a nice neck stretch or maybe at night? Because you might be, if you're working from home, Ergonomically, our, our work home situation is never the same is it, as, as it is in work. Okay, we're going to do some gentle, very gentle neck circles. This is just great for circulation. Um, and that's what the muscles need, you know. They need to be used um, to flush out anything that they don't need. Let's go back the other way. And breath, so oxygen and water, calcium, and movement are needed, okay, for our muscle. Really lovely. Well done. When you're ready, come back to center. Let's just have a quick look at our jeans pockets. <laughs> So just look down at one jeans pocket. So just where you could imagine your jeans would be and there should get a lovely stretch just there, kind of just at the back there of your neck and then come back to center, just very gently. And the same on the other side, just looking at that jeans pocket. Maybe your shoulders have come up to become involved. Just send them a little bit back, and just gently down, no cranking and come back to center. Well done. Then we're gonna just do some wrist circles, one way and the other, and maybe some magic spells. We're gonna make, um, uh, clasp our hands and, you know, just pretend we're a bit of a mixing bowl. I've seen this with kids the other night, and I was like, get funky with it. <laughs> Yeah, and your parents used to dance like this in the nineties. <laughs> oh, I'll stop. Maybe they still do. Uh, <laughs> they were like, "Okay, Elaine, what are you talking about?" <laughs> well done, because we are going to do some floor work, so it's just important to look after those wrists. Oh, I can feel my cracking. Ah, just shake them back. Lovely. We'll do the same with the ankles. I'm gonna come back so you can see me. So, so we're just gonna circle them. Oh, this is so good for, you know, you can start getting a bit of swelling in the ankles. And then just, our feet never get the attention they should. You know, there comes a certain point where you can't actually see them anymore. So they're just like, oh God, are they even there? 
Okay, and then maybe some circles, feet, and then back the other way. Oh, so good. Just okay, enough attention to those piggy toes. Okay, well done. Oh, yeah. The only thing I'm going to do with you today is I'm going to do eagle arms, okay? So I, I kind of always say, remember, I'm spending a lot of time in the 90s actually this morning. Oh, the 90s. <laughs> so we're going to do some voguing. We're not. But this is how I say to get into eagle arms. I'll get them. Vogue, vogue. <laughs> so I literally just go like this. Okay. Oh, I look so pretty this morning. And then just clasp your hands. Or if you can't get there, that's okay. Just put you the backs of your, your hands together. Okay, so breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Yeah, now make sure your jaw hasn't gotten involved. Breathe in and out. And now let's do some movement. Breathe in and out and just bring up and down. This can help get some knots out of those shoulder blades. Lovely, well done. Just make sure that you're being gentle with yourself. And out, and then shake them out. We'll vogue to the other side, okay? <laughs> so let's, whichever way you went the last time, Go the other way this time and you might be more flexible on one side than the other that's completely normal okay so breathe in and out again just make sure that your jaw hasn't gotten involved breathe in and out lovely breathe in and out and that again shake it out that again can just be fab for the shoulder blades. If there's any tension there, any knots, it's just brilliant, okay? Okay, dokes, so we're gonna come down to child's pose. So if you need a blanket, pad your knees, do comfort, comfort, comfort. Okay, we have to be very gentle and loving with ourselves. You are growing a human, lest you forget us. Okay. Okay, so you might need a wide stance, a wider stance than usual before, like child poses normally, you know, knees hip width distance apart, but you might need just to be more comfy, you might need them wider. Okay, so come on down. If you can't, um, if you can't put your forehead on the mat. Fine, maybe cushion. If you're feeling any heartburn, maybe forearms. Or you could go one potato, two potato. And that could be lovely because you could give yourself a little forehead massage while you're down here. So just rest on down here. Let's open those hips. I'm just going to check in on you guys. Lovely. See if you can bring your bum towards your thighs or your heels. Okay. Well done, that's it. That's lovely actually, Isha. And um, Patricia, are you able to bring your bum towards your heels more? Is that pop? Yeah, that's it. Can you feel more of a um, stretch in your hips when you do that? Hopefully, yeah. And you might need to open your knees a bit more, um, Patricia, and really get down there. And that's it, that's it, that's it. If you need to go one potato, two potato with your forehead, that's, you know, I prefer you get the stretch in your hips. Okay, Sue, so this is great for you for the sciatica. Now I want you to really breathe into those hips. Okay, into those hips, seriously? I didn't have enough coffee this morning by the signs, but into your back, <laughs> into your back. Now, Mary and Marie, I can't see you, but anyway, hopefully you're all right. 
um, but just make sure that you're nice and comfy and that you're breathing into your back, okay? So we're just really trying to create space in the back body here. And this is a really nice restorative pose and it really works for just calming the whole system down, right? Great for everybody, everybody in the whole world, unless you've heartburn, then it can be a little bit nasty. But there's ways around it. We just go one potato, two potato, or we come up onto our forearms, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, I want you just to start kind of bringing a little bit of movement into your child's pose. Okay, so maybe rock back and forth. So maybe rock backwards and forwards, it's okay? That's it. Maybe just give your your hips a little sway and just rock backwards and forwards onto you know using your forearms that's it well done <clears throat> maybe you might need to you know crawl your hands forward and really, you know, almost come up, rock backwards and forwards off your heels, giving the upper back a nice stretch. Back to the heels, see if you can get back to your heels, put that bum back onto your heels and come up almost to all fours and just rock back and forward, that's it. Lovely, just bringing more heat into the body, you know, because, oh, lovely, really good. So just coming back and forward, lovely. That's it. Well done, really nice, really lovely. Perfect, perfect, okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's come up onto our knees and give ourselves a bit of a shake out. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna go back down again and we're just gonna do some pelvic floor awareness. Okay. So we're gonna come down onto our forearms. Okay, and we're gonna have our knees hip width distance apart. And we're just going to see if we can bring some attention to our pelvic floor. Breathe in and out. Our diaphragm moves and so does our pelvic floor. Moves up and down. I want you just to start engaging your pelvic floor. So as you breathe in, I want you to soften. And as you breathe out, I want you to imagine that you are just mid flow of a pee and up oh, the doorbell rings, you gotta stop. Okay? It's something you really want. Like, I don't know. It's super delivery. <laughs> so you gotta stop being, <laughs> you gotta get to the door. So just imagine that action. Okay? Oh, no, no, I go. Um, or I don't know, you can hear one of the lights and keep on fire. That's silent. That means, uh oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just want you just to imagine that. So as we breathe in, we soften. And as we breathe out, we just, you know, imagine like putting on a pair of your jeans just out of the dryer and just engage. Try to stop yourself from being, um, maybe, you know, you can imagine that like, you're trying to stop a fart, so you're just engaging the back passage. This is so important for sexual health and bladder health and just toning your pelvic floor. 
Breathe in, soften. Breathe out, engage. Breathe in, soften. Breathe out, engage. Another, you know, way of thinking about it um, that I've experienced is pretending that like you're bringing your level of engagement as if you're going on a lift from one floor to another floor. So you're just, you know, engaging your pelvic floor and you're engaging your anus and then you're letting go. And I talked about the jellyfish last week. Some people use the image of a jellyfish going through water and out. This is a great position to get into to, to, to practice your pelvic floor exercises because other areas can't get involved as much so you can really target the area a lot more easily okay which is more difficult you know you can your glutes can really get involved in this otherwise um, and you don't want that well I mean, you know it's not the end of the world but it's better if you can really engage the pelvic floor okay so just relax and we're going to come on up onto our hands remember if your wrists are sore you can always use your fist and um, make sure that your middle finger is pointing at the top of your mat and we're just going to bring our hands a little bit forward so they're not our wrists aren't under our shoulders because we're going to do our our hip and um, figures of eight okay Lovely. So we're just going to come back to our heels and towards one hand, the other, and then back to the opposite heel. Then come around to the other heel and then come the whole way forward to our hand with our nose. Okay. We're going to go back to our, let's say, our right heel, come over to our left heel. Come forward to our right hand, come around to our left hand, and back. And really exaggerate this and draw the figure of eight with your nose. Okay, this is a great way for just easing out the spine, easing any pressure you might have on your back later in pregnancy, or maybe you have issues at the moment. Um, so just a great one for easy action. We're going to change direction. So whichever, so directionally challenged, whichever direction you were going in, go the other way. So go back to your left, over to your right, up to your left hand, and over to your right. Left to right left to right well done that's great let me have a look at you we have a look at you beautiful ladies that is fabulous well done really good that is great okay when you're ready we're going to come to um tabletop position what that is is i always say to the kids make a square with your body so we're just going to be in tabletop okay so you can balance your favorite drink on your back. Oh God, too early for a wine. Yes, cup of coffee. No, so a delicious cup of coffee. Maybe it's decaf. <laughs> decaf or I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna go off dreaming about that now. And we're gonna breathe in. As we breathe out, we're just gonna look at our bum, just the side of our bum, our puppy dog stretch. And then as we breathe in, we're going to come back to center. As we breathe out, we're going to look at our bum, the side of our bum. Where's my abs? Where's my abs? There it is. There it is. <laughs> breathe in, come back to center. Out, look at our bum. Getting a lovely side stretch and a stretch in the upper back. Breathe in, come back to center. 
Check out your abs, check out your bum on the other side. Back to center. Do one more. Lovely. Just enjoy that side stretch. Looking good, ladies. Well done. And come back to center. We're going now. When we're ready, just do one more on whichever side, and then we're going to come back to center. Okay. We're going to, again, just check in with our hands. Middle finger pointing to the top of the mat. Um, wrists under shoulders, shoulders back and down. Um, knees hip width distance apart. We're going to breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to tilt our pelvis and we're going to look through our legs. And then we're going to come back to center. And just go with your own breath, okay? So breathe in. And as you breathe out, round your spine, tilt your pelvis, look between your legs. And as you breathe in, come back to center. Now, breathe out, round the spine, tilt your pelvis, and you know, stretch under those armpits. And come back to center. And you're always looking at your mat, okay? When you come back to center, look at your mat. Okay, so just mind your neck. Um, so don't look up, just look at your mat. Lovely, beautiful, really good. That is great. This is great for just helping the lower back, for helping all of the back, giving it a nice stretch. Okay, just do one more. When you're ready, I want you to come up to a lunge position. So just bring one foot forward to a lunge position and rest your hands on your thigh. Curl the back toes under and then hug baby in, push up to standing. And then just sometimes you need to give yourself a minute here, you know, you might feel a little lightheaded. That can happen to me sometimes. Okay, so just give yourself a bit of a wiggle out. Okay, so you, you can still hear me and see me hopefully. So we're gonna just start by just doing some nice standing rolls. So do you remember, I'm just gonna come, Close and talk to you. Do you remember I was saying to you guys that we don't do cow if you have done yoga before? Normally, in a yoga, a standard yoga class, you do cat and then you do cow. And that's how you transition through that to stretch the back. But in prenatal yoga, if you do cat or cow in that position, you'll just, with all the fluid and the beautiful baby that's growing, it just might strain your back. So instead, we take those actions into other positions. And so, so for example, we're gonna do it now, okay? But we're just gonna, we're gonna be standing. So gravity isn't gonna be pulling on us, okay? Okay, cool. So on my turn to the side, you might see it more easily. We're gonna look up, roll our shoulders back and stretch our spine really, give it a good stretch and then as we breathe in and out we're going to come down maybe to our calves and then in we're going to come back up stretching back and then we're going to come out and come down to maybe our calves and then in and just go with your own breath okay go with your own breath this can just be a lovely stretch okay in and out round that spine in arch that spine push those shoulders back down back up and slide those shoulders together. One more down. Up. And 
stretch. Well done. Really lovely. Cool. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few things of the wall. So if that suits. Okay. So see if you can get yourself a little bit of wall space. Um, oh, da, 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 da. Yeah. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to get sorted and still see me hopefully. So I want you to imagine a few things here. Um, as you get ready, I'll just have a chat. Um, imagine like you'd been going great at home and so the first one, maybe you might use the couch on to just give you some stretching. And then in hip circles that I'm gonna do after that, that's a great way of getting some privacy um, in the hospital. So you might need to, to just face the wall to kind of block everybody else out. <laughs> and actually a, a penny scarf, a really light scarf can be great. And of course, I totally forgot to bring one down and um, because it's raining, she was upstairs instead of out in the garden. So it was a bit of a panic at the end, but I will show you that again. Okay, so we're at our wall. Okay, so come on in close to the wall. See me, let's see, I might actually just use the bridge. Yeah, okay, so just for this purpose. Okay, okay, so I want you to take a really big step back so that you're making a right angle. And then look at the floor and just enjoy a really lovely stretch in the back. And breathe. You can do this maybe using the back of the sofa, but I can see that that may not be convenient. But you could use the kitchen counter. And just push against the wall. It's a great way for stretching the spine and opening the shoulders and the legs. And then walk your feet back towards the wall. So hopefully that was nice, okay? Now, Sometimes as you go into pregnancy, you might experience some calf stretches. So, or no, I'm gonna show you a calf stretch. You might experience some leg cramps. Oh, seriously, maybe water and caffeine is required. The, the both, oh my God, for one moment, I was speaking in Italian in my head. Do they do it? Where did that come out of? Okay, so. I want you to come nice and close to the wall, okay? Hands kind of opposite where your, your chest is, your bra is, your bra strap. And then just take one foot back and, you know, have one, let's see, I'm just gonna bend my camera so you can really see my feet, okay? So you've got one bent at the wall, and one right back, you're getting a nice stretch. And push into the wall, let the wall take your weight, and then just enjoy a lovely stretch in the calf, and also in the hips. And that can be great if you find yourself in trouble during the night where you know, you've had restless legs, or you have um, some like leg pain, leg cramps, just use the wall, just come out and give yourself a nice stretch. Okay, breathe in and out. And then just bring yourself back together again. We'll do the other side. Just give yourself a little breath here. I was at my fridge, hilarious. <laughs> I can just tip back and be in a push. I've actually done this as a separate video um, on my YouTube channel, okay? So same place that I will be sending the link for this video. There is where I, I must have had the table near to the wall, so you might be able to see it 
um, and you know, do it again without having to watch the full pregnancy yoga video, okay? So really push into that heel, stretch that calf, lovely, and come back to center. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little challenge, ladies. You ready to do some push-ups? Oh yeah. Using the wall. I love this. I love this so much because it actually, well, okay, you tell me, but I feel it's easy, but tomorrow you'll feel it. And I love exercise like that. I love exercise that I just don't kill myself in, but then I feel the results afterwards. I'm like, oh, that, that's great. That's a win-win. Okay. <laughs> okay, so come nice and close to the wall. Let's see if I can bring the stage. But anyway, can you see where my feet are? Okay, nice and close to the wall. So nice and close. Let me see if you can see that a bit better. My messy fridge. Get your ha like hands nice and wide and just bring them in. And out. Oh, don't push the bridge too hard, Lane. In. So you're literally just doing using the wall instead of the floor to do a push up. In. Out. In. Just check you guys. Just mind your back in this. Lovely. Well done. That's it. Perfect, really lovely, great. Well done. Perfect, and just do one more. Okay, so now, um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the hip circles. So let's just even, Let's just even stand where we are and like just face the camera just for a second, okay? And we're gonna use the wall now in a second. But I want you just to get the action of the hip circle. So just imagine, um, I I'm so funny. I think I've told you guys I am so directionally challenged. Like I teach baby massage and there is a, mas a massage that you need to go clockwise. And I, I have to have my watch in front of me. And this is the same here. And I'm like, Okay, I want to say it's clockwise. Is it? I have to look at my watch. Like seriously, that is crazy, but it's true. Um, but yeah, like our birth canal also is clockwise. So this is great for spiraling baby down. Okay, let's just go the other way. So hip circles are your friend in birth. And you know, as I've said before, Everybody's birth is different and everybody's birth, it doesn't ever go exactly to plan, okay? And maybe side to side. So, you know, you might want a home birth, that may not work out for you. You might want to have a completely natural birth. You might need pain relief. You might eventually be like, just hook me up to that with epidural. The longer you can get through without intervention, the, the better the outcome, you know, there are statistics that prove that. So the more you can do, the more you can do, the better. So some of this will help you. So movement, gravity and breath. Okay. So do you remember I was saying in the hospital, you so at home, you might have like, this is your gorgeous music, the lovely lighting, like you might be still going, this is bleeping torture, but you're still <laughs> got your oxytocin flowing, okay? Get into hospital, the bloody bright, bright lights, you're gonna have your sunglasses and your glamorous Marilyn Monroe scarf with you, and you're gonna put them in your dressing gown when you go up from admissions because you're gonna hold on to oxytocin, okay? You're gonna be holding on. I can't believe it, I actually want some glasses scared. You're gonna be in admission, you're gonna be like, who's that crazy lady? And you're gonna be like, I don't care. I'm holding on to my oxytocin, keeping um, adrenaline at the door, okay? You're gonna maybe go up to the delivery ward. You're going to have an examination. And they might be like, oh, you're not in labor yet. And you're gonna be, uh -uh. so you might 
go home or you might be on unit three if you're in Hollis Street. So if you are on a, you know, that ward, you might need to walk up and down. The, here we go, back to our wall. So what you want to be doing is you want as little interference from everybody as possible because you want to get in the zone. You want to get back in touch with yourself. You want to keep adrenaline at the door. And adrenaline can pop its head up if you're being overly monitored, like if people are constantly at you. So to the wall and get hip circles out, okay? You know, and just get in the zone, connect with your breathing. Okay, and you might you might have a light scarf. I'm just gonna use my hoodie for now. <laughs> Okay, so imagine you have a light scarf over your head. Okay. Nothing says do not disturb me like a hoodie over your head or a scarf over your head. Okay, I'm in the zone, so leave me alone. Okay, so it is great for just sending out the message. Someone will kind of come up and start talking to you when you're like, would you piss off? I'm trying to, you know, get my breathing right. I'm trying to calm down here. I, you know, this is a lot of pressure. This isn't what I was expecting. I just want to just catch a hold of myself and just calm down, down, down. Slow down, 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 slow down, calm down, down. You know, and that can be great. You know, just great to kind of send out the message and center you, get you focused. And um, so, yeah, it's just brilliant. Um, okay, so also the thing about using the wall is we can get a bit self-conscious, can't we? Check out my video on YouTube, mortifying, mortifying. I mean, I was just like, I look like I'm getting jiggy with it here. Like, whoa, sexy lady, like seriously, mortifying. But this is what I do for you ladies. <laughs> This is what I do for you. <laughs> so, you know, us Irish, you know, well, Patricia, I know you're not Irish, but like, seriously, like, we're just not great at being very demonstrative in public and being expressive and sexy in public. Are we now? Are we? So, <laughs> the old hip circles. Use the wall. Look at the wall. Just focus on the wall. I don't give a shit about how you look like. Sorry now, there's going to be some expletives. I bet there will be when you're in labour. So, you know, so just own it. So that's kind of sometimes what my classes are going to be about. In the privacy of your own home, make all the noise. Like, get all the movements going so that when you really need to do it, you're like, oh my God, we practiced this. You know, I, I need to do it now, you know? Okay. Righty ho, I want to do just, what else do I want to do with the wall? <clears throat> I want to do tree pose. Okay, you might be able to do tree pose as you are standing, okay? But if you need the wall, that or in my case, the fridge, that's okay, all right? So just come into a nice position and um, feet together. Shoulders back and down. I want you to lift the toes, only your toes, and plant them into the ground, okay? Really plant them, okay? They are your roots. Just saw a great image on um, Facebook. I'm gonna see if I can find it and I'm gonna send it to you, okay? Hand, if you want, against the fridge, and then <laughs> the wall, the wall! Oh, and, then, and then one foot either 
toes on the floor, totally fine. Or foot against the calf. Ladies, I'm stopping there. Or uh, against the thigh, never against the knee, okay? Our knees are just, need to be worshiped like gods, okay? Don't put anything on the knees. And then we're just gonna bring one hand to two hands, depending on where you are. Oh. You're really rooting into the foot. You are breathing, really connect to your breathing. Now I'm looking out into the garden and I'm looking at a tree and it's not moving, okay? So I'm really focused on that. And I'm breathing and I'm noticing, okay, am I starting to tilt my pelvis? Okay, check in with that and bring it back to where you want it. Maybe open your hip a bit more. This, trees move in the wind, you know, it's okay to sway. Breathing. Breathing. Okay, is my jaw getting involved? Yes, it is. Melt your jaw. Breathing in and out. Bring your hands down. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Okay. So feet nicely together. You know, hopefully you can feel the boniness of your, your ankles meeting and just really again lift those toes and separate them and plant them down we're going to root into the ground to rise away okay so whichever foot you did now do the other so you might be just on your tippy toes on one foot that's okay it's absolutely great it's a great start it's a great foundation Okay, or you might be on your calf, or you might be on the inside of your thigh, never on your knee. Okay, see if you can really open that hip. Okay, breathing in and I pick your point. Okay, so I've moved a little bit, so now I can't look at that tree anymore. So I have to look at something else. Arms up or arms here. So whichever suits best, and then just notice, this is great for building up strength in the legs. It's not the most comfortable of positions. So we have to talk to ourselves and go, this is how I can do this. Your glutes are firing, hopefully. Breathing in and out, your jaw might get involved, tell it to calm itself down, relax, melt, use your in-breath to soften. Shake it out, shake it out. That is really good for like strengthening the glute, strengthening the calf. So really shake out those, those legs. You know, that is a lovely one for practicing, really getting those thighs strong. And that, that's, we're gonna need that for birth, okay? You know, because we might be down in a squat and uh, I think we'll be doing some squats next week if we can, okay? Because squatting is just amazing for birth. Okay, now, that actually took longer than I thought. That's okay. So I had some floor exercises I was gonna do, but I'm not gonna do them now because I wanna give you a good relaxation. But still, let's come down to the floor and do a cool down. We'll do some twists, okay? <clears throat> and then next week I'll do, I have a lovely seated, sideline that I wanted to do with you which is great for birth and just 
if you're talking to your care providers, just see if they have a peanut ball or access to a peanut ball. Um, that can be great, you know, if you are lying down for birth. Um, just check in with them. Some hospitals do have a certain amount, so it's always good to find out, okay? Oh. Hydration, good for my brain. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Super. Okay, so let's just maybe roll out those shoulders again. Nice cross-legged position. Shoulders just loosey-goosey. Back and down, but not cranked back and down. Do you know what I mean? Jaw nice and relaxed. Crown of the head to the ceiling. We're going to bring one hand to the opposite knee. And then we're going to circle the other hand back and around. We're going to look to the side at first. And we're going to check in with our jaw again. I know I talk a lot about the jaw, but really, it's really important because it's so connected to your pelvic floor. So we're only looking to the side and we're really relaxing into this. So use your breath again, really relax. Tell yourself again, slow down, down, down. And as you breathe gently, see if you can bring your nose around. Okay, tracking behind to look over that shoulder. Okay. Gently, really gently. Okay, and as you breathe in and out, see if your knees are falling out a bit more. Okay, is your hip relaxing a bit more? Okay, can you go a little bit further with your nose? Can you look towards that back hand? Gently, softly. Lovingly breathe in and out and see if you can just expand your oxygen into your ribs and see if you can just open that back. When you're ready, gently come back around with your head and gently bring your hand back to that knee. Okay, we're going to do the other side. So bring the opposite hand to the opposite knee. Really be gentle with those, those knees and the hips and really relax. Then breathe in, breathe out as you bring that hand back behind you and gently look to one side, the same side that you're going to be tracking back to. Breathe in and out again. Tell yourself, slow down, 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 down. Okay, see if you can, out of the corner of your eye, see your shoulder. Gently track your nose in its direction. Gently, gently, softly, and lovingly. See if you can look at your fingers, fingers that are behind you. Really softly, really gently. Breathe in to the side body and then gently release back to center. Well done. Now we're just going to put one hand on the floor beside ourselves, beside your hip, kind of out like so. And then we're just going to come over and just stretch gently. 
it's my team today, gently. <laughs> I'm going to see how many times I can work it into the video. Oh. Okay, breathe into the side body. Shoulders, have your shoulders come up. Send them back down. And then come up and around. Let's do the other side. Again, just bringing that hand out to the floor opposite your hip. Breathing in and out. And sending this hip down to the floor. Okay, sending it, make sure it doesn't come on up with you. Send it down to the floor. Okay, has your shoulder come up? Send it back down. Maybe look up to that hand. Breathe in, as you breathe out, hug baby in. And come back to center. Well done. Get comfy on the floor, ladies. Let's do some relaxation. Get really snuggly. Imagine I'm tucking you in. Okay. Well done. Might actually even need my hoodie today. The sun will be back. It will come back to us. Get nice and comfy. Lovely. Okay. Well done. Okay. Well done. As you get comfy, I just want you to maybe just to bring your attention to something. And that is that hospitals can be really noisy. Okay. So here we are at home, nice and comfy, but actually sometimes you need some noise to prepare yourself for the hospital because it can be very noisy. So as you breathe in and out, I want to bring your attention to the furthest noise that you can hear away from you. I want you to really see if you can hear a noise far away. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Then I want you to bring your attention to other noise just outside wherever you are now. So breathing in and out. And just really see if you can bring your attention to that but you are still relaxed. Breathe in and out. And despite whatever noise or distraction you can hear other than my voice, I want you to remain calm and bring your attention to your breathing. Breathe in and out. Slow your exhale right down. Notice if there's any tension in your body, just relax it. So despite any noise around you, just really, with all your relaxed power, Ignore it and just breathe. I want you to see 
if you can hear any noise inside your body. Your body is such an amazing place and baby can hear sounds in your body. Imagine they can hear your heart beating. You know, sound is essentially vibrations. That's what it is, you know? So they can hear everything in your body. You know, it's, such a, it's a noisy place for them, but it's a different kind of noise. And it's a warm place for them. So breathe in and out. And just imagine if you can hear your heartbeat, imagine how loud it must be for your baby. Breathe in and out. If thoughts come into your mind as you lie here relaxing, that's okay. That's okay. Pregnancy can be a scary time. You know, we can have lots of fears or thoughts about everything from is the baby okay to thinking about birth, if it's the great unknown or if it's an experience you have before that's okay. Just observe those thoughts, pretend they're like clouds and just watch them go by and bring yourself back to your breathing. And breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And as you're lying here relaxing, just do a quick scan of your body. Bring the relaxation and the breath from your head and melt your forehead, melt your cheeks, melt your jaw, relax your shoulders, bring the breath down your arms, your upper arm, your lower arm. And bring that breath right down to each of your fingers and relax. <clears throat> bring the breath down your back, your upper back, down each vertebrae to your lower back. Breathe the breath down into your uterus, down to baby, sending waves of oxygen to baby. And relax. Then bring your breath down to your lower back and your hips, down your thighs, 
shine to those precious knees. And into your calves. And down the whole way down to your ankles, your feet, and your toes. Now again, see if you can bring your attention to the noise, the sounds, the vibrations in your body. Bring your awareness, maybe just to the room that you're in, or the sounds outside in the house. If you have a garden in your garden, or maybe you can hear passing traffic or birds singing. And see if you can bring your awareness to those sounds now. When you're ready, bring the awareness to your body. Maybe bring some movement into your feet. Into your fingers. Maybe start to wiggle a little bit. Nice and slowly. When you're ready. With ease and kindness to yourself, use your top arm to push yourself up to a seated position. So oh, hopefully that was useful. <laughs> and, and enjoyable and so come to a cross-legged position now my fabulous microphone doesn't bring the mm in my arms very clearly but we will end the class with an arm and um, sound is really important in birth and getting comfortable with sound but also in pregnancy sending noises down to baby and the vibrations and just the universal arm is just really healing and calming. Okay, so we'll just bring our hands, even if we just bring them to our chest. It's like, oh, okay, am I okay here? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> to our heart center. And we'll take a nice deep breath in. And we're going to go, ah. Uh, Let's do it one more time. Uh, you can really feel the vibrations. So have a fabulous week. Be gentle with yourself. Okay, we're very tough on ourselves. Remember, you are growing a human. You've got 
so much going on in your body. So be really gentle with yourself, okay? It's, you know, it's tough working from home and juggling, you know, childcare or just being on your own and working from home or being with your other half and working from home <laughs> as much as we love them, you know? So be kind to yourself and, you know, just surround yourself with good things um, positive things um, and try not to watch too much news <laughs> you don't need to know okay so namaste and I will do a little bit of editing and then I'm just going to pop it up on my YouTube channel so that you can watch it back and there are some vi homemade videos there with my hip circles and I, one other because it wouldn't post one I can't remember which one it wouldn't post it said it was too like the other so I'll have to just change my outfit and do it again or something um but hopefully it's of use anyway have a great week and I will see you next week okay bye